Hello and welcome to Todd Miller TV. Um, today is Veterans Day, so I'm casual Friday in the office. Uh, we've let the staff go um, for the day. So I came in today to work and I actually got a chance to talk to somebody who was on the work group that drafted, that helped draft the legislation, you know, that, that the, the work group helped put together the legislation and present it sort of to the, to the um, assembly. So, uh, and I had a long conversation and we talked and I got a lot of information out about this whole thing because as you're probably aware, there's a lot of fear mongering going on and there's a lot of people out there that are very resistant to change. So when any type of change happens, they get very, you know, upset, they go into panic mode and that panic has spread to a lot of people. So I wanted to get down really to like the nuts and bolts of what is going on, why this whole thing was passed. And that was the big reason, you know, why are we doing this when to many of us, you know, foreclosure is not that big of a, um, of a deal in that, you know, people aren't paying their mortgages, they're going to get foreclosed. That's a very simple way of look to look at it. But I got some really good information that explains this. And, and as I go through it, I think you're going to have a better understanding and maybe your fear level is going to be um, uh, much less. So uh, I'm going to look, look down at my notes here as I talk. Um, okay. They all realize that in the real estate business, we are struggling. They all realize that homeowners who are getting foreclosed are struggling, that people who own properties where values have declined are struggling. They're all aware of that. The intent of this is not to make that worse because actually if they stopped foreclosures, it would get way worse and this is why. Home prices would skyrocket again because there would be no inventory. So prices would go up and then what would happen is eventually this would all get resolved and all these houses would come on the market and the prices would tank. And that instability would be extremely bad for us. So that there's no intention here to stop foreclosures. Okay. Um, the, the idea here is that the land is the, is the asset that we have as a state. And the legislature owes a duty to the citizenry to protect all of us and protect the land. Now, there's a big problem. If you think back to the, uh, um, you know, eight years ago, remember we had crazy lending. It was a frenzy of lending. And that led to this. Well, now we have a frenzy of foreclosure. That frenzy of foreclosure, if it's not done properly, is going to lead to litigation and it's going to lead to a frenzy of other problems that cause now title issues. Imagine you bought a house and then a couple of years later so you get sued because the foreclosure was done wrong and you've been in your house and now you're having to pay attorneys and you know it, it's, it's causing problems. Um, so the idea here, here is let's make sure that we're, everyone's doing things right, that we're crossing the T's, we're dotting the I's, we're doing all these things right so that we have clear title to pass to people and we don't create a worse problem. There's no intent here to stop the inventory, okay? Um, uh, now, a lot of you are saying, you know, the state could have settled. And a lot of states settled and took some money and said, we'll just let the banks and everybody do what they're doing, but we will actually not take any, uh, and we'll take some money. Well, the state, uh, Nevada didn't do that. Nevada said, you know what? That's short-sighted for us to just take some money and then let this problem keep happening. Let's actually make it right. So they were actually in, in our best interest, all of us, as realtors, as property owners, as everybody, trying, they're trying to do the right thing here. Um, there were work groups set up. There were actually agents. There were, you know, attorneys. There were, um, uh, people from the title industry, there were trustees. The original like uh, bill was like had way more teeth in it. And some of the trustees just said, hey, wait a minute, you know, all these things you're trying to do, this is a little too much. They cut a lot of that stuff out. Um, and they came to something that was reasonable. So what that means is there was an opportunity for everybody at some point, or a lot of people, to put input in and look at this and see what this was going to do. So this wasn't a big surprise. Um, uh, the, the, the key is that the whole bill, the idea is to respect the process. You know, there's this whole process of foreclosure. They want to make sure that it's respected in such a way so that when title's passed, it's proper. 
so that we don't end up with the problem later on of having another bubble of all these properties where title screwed up so people are selling them super cheap because they're like, you know what, we know there's title issues so we'll sell it super cheap. You can just take it without title insurance and then that's going to do what? It's going to destroy property values. You know, the state gets revenue from value of property and if property values are down, the state's getting less revenue, the local, the local government's getting less revenue, it's bad for everybody. So they want to make sure that they protect that. And the idea here is to protect that, is not to cause these inventory problems of, of our you know, REOs and things like that. So um, there's also other ways to foreclose. You know, just because you don't have all the perfect documents, you're missing something or a signature is not exactly right or whatever, it doesn't mean you can never foreclose. Um, there's other ways to do foreclosure. You know, there's there's um, judicial foreclosure. There's other ways for the for the um, beneficiary to come back and say, I need to foreclose on this to get the money out. And people are just going to have to adjust. Um, also, this thing about, you know, this rumor going around that the, the trustees don't want to foreclose because they're all going to go to jail. They have to sign something. If they later find a mistake, that's not the intent. The not intent is to start throwing people in prison. It's just to get people to respect the process. That's, that's the real intent here. Um, uh, the... Uh, the, the bottom line is the state is here to protect us. It's not here to collect money from, you know, unsettlements. It's not here to, you know, keep a, a problem going. Um, my gut feeling from the conversation that I had was that this is not a big deal. I had even mentioned to this person, have you seen the videos? And their thing was, I'm getting all the videos that are going around. I'm seeing all the crazy emails. And they're just, you know, the people who who helped put this together together are saying this is this is overdone this is you know this is fear mongering this is really um, not appropriate this is not going to happen it's not this bad um, this is they just made it worse uh, than it sounds and they're scaring people which i said originally in the first video because it's video number 3 now and probably for me this is the last video i'm going to do on this topic that um, uh, that that's overdone. And I, that was my gut feeling on the first one. The second video with all the numbers, I showed that the, the time frames and everything didn't make sense. And after having this conversation and taking all the notes and telling you guys, um, I feel pretty comfortable. You know, my business is a real estate broker. In addition to our regular company of selling real estate, is we do REO. And to us, you know, having inventory, you know, if the foreclosures are going to happen and we're going to, someone's going to sell the inventory, we hope it's us. So it does affect us, and I'll tell you what, I'm not worried about it. So if I'm not worried about it, uh, I don't think you need to be worried about it as well. You can have your own opinion, you can talk to people, but uh, anyway, that's, those are my thoughts. I think we'll know in six months or a year. I think we'll be able to look back and see who had the better idea of, of you know, what the, was going to really happen. So anyway, that's uh, my update for today. Happy Veterans Day, and hope to see you on another video. Thanks a lot.